career, Howard. Did you make my career? Absolutely before not. I knew you. No, you did. I did not have anything to do with making your career. I just, you I just was a fan. I ride your coattails no. all over the place, or that I fucking. No, I was just ride on somebody's coattails refers to someone who follows a powerful leader of some type with the hopes of uh, progressing along with the leader. And this is very common, where somebody will say, find a star and then follow the star, or uh, follow the leader, or, okay. find, or find a mentor. If you find the right mentor, as the mentor rises in the organization, you will rise in the organization too, as long as you can stay friendly with the mentor. The idea of coattails comes from the 19th century, where the typical design of male clothes was a front that was fairly short and then tails that were fairly long. And that probably came from riding on horses or riding in buggies where the, you know, maybe the, the seats were wet or something. But whatever the case was, these, uh, these tails would, would come out in the back usually two of them. And so you could almost imagine grabbing onto those coattails and having the leader pull you forward. So that's where the expression riding on someone's coattails came from. What the expression means is to make your fortune on the strength of someone else. A lot of uh, young people, when they graduate from college, they don't want to ride on their parents' coattails to become successful. They want to do something on their own. But more often than not, or certainly often enough, they'll find that their parents know people or have connections to good job opportunities. So they will ride on their parents' coattails in order to uh, get a good start in making a career for themselves. A lot of people feel that Hillary Clinton has ridden on uh, Bill Clinton's coattails. But I think she's a very powerful politician in her own right. And yes, she did get a boost. But she's been in the business long enough. That you can't really say she's been riding on his coattails to get where she got to today. A lot of family companies uh, are successful from generation to generation, often going from father to son or nowadays from father to daughter, and uh, the next generation, they have to put up with people saying that they are riding on the coattails of their parents, which is a legitimate uh, criticism. But at the same time, uh, in most cases, they've earned their positions by working in these companies for years and years. So at the end of the day, the criticism is unfair. I mean, but he got the same way in Vegas. You mean when I was like uh, busting chops in sort of an evil way to people? Or? Uh, to bust chops refers to insulting someone generally from a position of power, like from being their boss or being their supervisor. And uh, the idea is that the chops is the jaw. So busting the chops is like punching someone in the jaw. And at the same time, they're not permitted to fight back. This is similar to the idea of busting someone's balls, but it's a more um, mainstream expression and not, not as crude. And um, it also refers to someone who is uh, nitpicking or someone who is hypercritical where maybe that's just part of their management style to be that way. We always have a meeting on Monday morning, and the boss calls it the uh, weekly kickoff. But uh, most of the employees think of it as the busting chops meeting, because usually all he has to say is negative things and just saves one or two positive things for the end of the meeting. When companies have meetings, sometimes some people just don't like to hear other people talk. 
So if one person starts to talk that they don't like, they'll just start busting chops to try to get the other person to shut up. In the uh, comedy world, one of the first things that the comedians have to learn how to do is how to bust chops against any hecklers that uh, try to get them to screw up while they're giving their comedy routine. That's all for today. Tom Taylor is an ESL tutor. He teaches English in the United States and outside all over the world using Skype. He can be reached at his website, which is esl-fullsteamahead.com. Click on this link and check out his website and email with questions. Thank you, Tom, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.